Getting Forge and Campaign for Halo 3 on Xbox 360 was one thing, but to do it on PC, it's pretty much just the same process. If first off, I'm not sure if this is required, but in Assembly, go to Tools, head to Settings, Map Editor, go into Halo 3 MCC, and paste in your Maps folder directory for resource cache. I'm not sure if it's required during Extracted Tags, but right here I just have the directory for all of my Halo 3 maps so it can access the shared map and so on so that you can extract tags properly. So now once you've done that, go ahead and open up the map that you want to convert for Forge. Um, in this case, I'm gonna do 030 outskirts.map, which is to Savo Highway, and I'm going to convert it to Forge. So I'm gonna open it in assembly here, can go to tags, do some looking around, and before we actually do anything with to Savo Highway, we're gonna need to get an original Forge map so we can extract the contents of Forge onto Tasavo Highway. So to do that, we're going to open up an original Forge map such as Guardian. That works perfectly fine. And we're going to come on down to the tag MULG right here, Multiplayer Globals. Right click it and hit rename. Rename it and set it to Multiplayer Globals New. Hit continue and go down here and hit save tag names. So on Guardian, we now have our ready to inject MULG tag. What this will do is it'll tell our campaign map to render the multiplayer globals just as a normal multiplayer map would. You can right click it, hit extract, and the file name will just make MULG. I've already done this before, so I'll go ahead and replace mine and give it some time to extract. So once it's done, hit okay, go to outskirts, hit import, and put in your new MULG tag that you just extracted, hit inject, leave all the settings normal. Once again, this will take some time to import, so just leave assembly alone. Okay, so the import was successful. That took a good couple of minutes to extract. And the next tag we need besides MULG right here, we're going to need WGTZ, which is the screen widget that we're going to need. Every single player map, such as campaign maps, have their own single player WGTZ tag. In this case, we need the multiplayer tag right here, so we'll hit extract on that again. Name it WGTZ and extract that. So next, go back to your campaign map, hit import, and put in your w WGTZ tag. All right, so hit OK on that, hit save tag names, make sure everything's saved on it and X out of the map, because we're gonna go ahead and reload it here in assembly. And by reloading it, it probably doesn't do much, but it definitely refreshes assembly's call stack, and it'll help later on with the process. This next step isn't exactly required, but if you head over to Steam and you run Master Chief Collection, go ahead and play to Savo Highway just to make sure that it works and you won't have to worry about further errors down the road. Okay, so it seems as though the map runs perfectly fine. All the sounds are working fine. We still got the scripts and the Marines here, so that's great. As long as there's no bugs, especially what I mean by this is if it doesn't crash, you are okay. Okay, so now that that step is complete and we know Tosavo Highway runs perfectly fine, let's go ahead and confirm that our MULG tag is in place. So we have multiplayer globals, which should be nulled out in our campaign because there's no data for it. And our multiplayer globals new that we just injected. So it's here. And next step, we have to go to MATG, globals, do a search for multiplayer UI globals. Go ahead and set this tag to WGTZ and find the multiplayer WGTZ tag that you injected. Hit save. Next, go to the multiplayer globals right here, which you should find easily if you don't search for it, and set it to your globals new. This will give multiplayer settings for your map and it should run and the game will think that it's multiplayer just as any other map is. So next up what we have to do is we have to actually fill in blocks two and three of player representation. So the way that this works is there's index zero for Master Chief and index one for Dervis, which is the elite, but blocks two and three are empty and they need to be filled with the same contents as blocks zero and one. So to do this, I'll start out by setting my tags here to mode. This last one down here is biped. Master Chief first person, Master Chief first person body, and lastly, Master Chief. As long as it's the same as the block zero, we can move on to the elite. All right, so now all of the dervish is selected just as Master Chief has been done and it's the same as block one. So we can go ahead and hit save, and that's it for MATG. Okay, so now that we have modified the MATG tag in our single player map once again on outskirts, we're gonna need to head over to the scenario tag, which is SCNR, 
open it up and find the crates block right here and set that count uh, pretty much zero because if we set the crates count too high, it will crash the map. From what I hear, the object pool will be too large. And even on PC, I know for MCC itself, it still has issues. So make crates zero. Yeah, so we'll save that. And then next up, uh, go all the way up to the top here. Um, this next step right here is pretty obvious. Uh, make sure your map type is set to multiplayer. Uh, set the campaign ID to zero, the map ID. You're gonna need to take Guardian's map ID. It doesn't really matter which multiplayer map you pick, but if we head over to Guardian and we temporarily replace its ID with 320 into Tasavo Highway's map ID, MCC is going to think that this is the map Guardian, so it'll load just as a regular multiplayer map ID would. And for the sandbox budget, feel free to make that as big as you want. Okay, so now that we have all of that set up, uh, one of the last things we actually have to extract here is in our multiplayer map, uh, head over to the scenery tag and look for respawn point invisible. Uh, right click it and hit extract our spawn point. So in the outskirts, uh, be sure everything is saved and import your spawn point. Okay, so import successful. Just to play things safe, I'll go ahead and reload the map here. And now we're back in outskirts. And if we head to the scenario tag, we can then verify in our scenery palette right here. Uh, we can go ahead and add another element. So we'll go ahead and add 49, just increment it by one because we're gonna need to add in that invisible spawn point so that we can throw it into the scenery and add its index and all of that. Uh, reference the scenery tag. There is now the respawn point invisible, so go ahead and link that and hit save. What we'll have to remember here is that this is at index 48, so remember that number 48 because we're going to use it right here at scenery. Um, for scenery, you could just edit an existing chunk or index, but I'll go ahead and add a new one just to play things safe. Uh, if we head to our last one, which should be empty, we're going to go ahead and put 48 in here so what that does is for the palette index it all it's doing is it's linking up index 48 which is our respawn point invisible for name index make it negative one go down a little bit set the type to scenery uh, the parent name index make that negative one as well unknown one above the uh, multiplayer data which is right here Set that in 16, unknown to negative one. Uh, right here for the team, set it to neutral. And then lastly, there is the attached name index that we're gonna make negative one as well. Okay, so this uh, next step right here, just go to allowed zone sets and check the first three of these. What that means is that in your first BSP map structure that you load into the game with, we can set that spawn to the beginning of the mission and usually the game only uses the first three. Okay, so now is where things get fun and a little complicated not not complicated at all really we're gonna have to get a judent here and we're gonna need to open up the xbox 360 format of your campaign mission that you are converting for this uh, tutorial i am doing to salvo highway so i will load it up here and we can then go ahead and look at our model viewer on our first bsp like I said, we only needed to check the first three zone sets, so we should be good here. You can click on it, uh, move around a bit, and what you guys will notice is this is indeed the beginning of Tasavo Highway that we had originally see and all love to spawn at. So you can pick basically anywhere where you'd like to spawn. Uh, I think right here is good. What's important to note though is you're going to need to remember these X, Y, and Z coordinates because we're all we're simply, simply, simply gonna do is put those X, Y, and Z coordinates into our MCC map. So they are they are the same format and location as the Xbox 360. Uh, for all the halos I've found, it is the exact same. Okay, so the last thing to really do then is to double check that your coordinates are correct. If they weren't correct, uh, your map would still load and you'd probably still spawn decently, but you'll know what the issue is as long as all the other core steps have been done successfully. So go ahead and hit save on that. And now we are pretty much done. Uh, the assembly part is complete. So if we head back to the maps folder, our outskirts map is still outskirts. So we're gonna have to rename it to Guardian. So I'll just go ahead and delete Guardian 
copy its name so I'm sure I don't spell it wrong. Even though I'm pretty good at my spelling. And so we can verify then that Guardian is in here. Our Tesalvo Highway should load up just like an, any ordinary multiplayer map would load. As always, make sure to run anti-cheat, anti-cheat disabled. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to the Create tab for Forge. Go to Halo 3, and let's select Guardian and see what happens. So, as long as you get the loading bar all the way up to here, uh, you'll know that you've done a pretty good job with it. And, as you can see, we have spawned in the level. There's not very many features because the scripts work a little differently with MCC versus Xbox 360. Uh, so yeah, we can fly around here with Forge as long as the WGTZ tag has been injected properly. Um, MULG is usually the biggest issue if your map happens to freeze at the beginning. That's probably why. So retry your MULG tag if nothing else works. Uh, if you do notice, the uh, Master Chief uh, UI is still there it doesn't look all multiplayer but if you would want to fix that and remove that little uh, master chief helmet screen you could reference the multiplayer master chief biped instead of the other one that was already pre-game in the campaign mission so i know it's disappointing that there isn't a whole lot of scripts or anything going on in fact the forge menu is completely blank i will make another video really quickly to uh show how you can add on to your forge menu and and actually get your vehicles equipment scenery and teleporters and spawners and all that um, but for now this is just the level itself there is like I said no special features with it I will do another video on that as well we, so we can add more to it so as far as this video goes I really hope this helped into getting forge and campaigns so me and game cheat Lord Zed and all the other cool people aren't the only ones doing it and speaking of cool people I'm just an ordinary kid modding Halo 3 so I hope you guys uh, found this helpful. I'm really excited to make more tutorials if I can. Forge and Campaign has been a highly requested one, so that's why I did it. Uh, one last thing to mention here about your crates. Uh, so if we go back to crates, uh, set your count like before it was at 800. Um, if you want some of the crates, for instance, this may include like boxes or scenery. It may even have like grenades or weapons lying on the floor. You can go ahead and set it to like 200 to start with and see how many you can add before before the game starts to really get unplayable. I can't actually save it because I already renamed my outskirts to Salvo Highway to Guardian. Once again, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and stay tuned for that Forge Palette video coming out so you guys can modify your Forge menu a little bit and have a little bit of freedom.